welcome to SeaWorld San Diego. Today is your all access pass. We're gonna show you things to do here in SeaWorld, like what kind of animals they have, check out the different shows they have, the roller coasters. And we also got the diner pass all day. So we're gonna show you and we're gonna take you to all the restaurants and all the treats that SeaWorld has. So if that's what you're looking for, keep watching. So the parking was $25. I think that is a lot for parking, especially since the San Diego Zoo is free for parking. So I don't know why it's $25 for SeaWorld, but it is, so be prepared for that. If you guys are wondering how much it costs to come in for one single day for an adult is $92. That's if you pay at the kiosk behind me, and it's also $92 if you pay when you get in line over here at the ticket booth. I found that it was cheaper to go online. I paid $72 for today. So check your prices to see which one works out better for you. But I found out that online is a lot cheaper. Don't forget to take your souvenir picture with SeaWorld in the background. You can get your photo key card and you can use your cell phone for free right here. As soon as you enter on the right hand side, you have guest services. This is where you pick up your wristband for the all day dining and it's also where you get quick queue. Quick queue is a VIP access that gets you to the front of the line of almost every roller coaster they have here. And this is also where you buy tours. So come here before you get to the park, that way just in case you wanna have a couple of these add-ons. In the entrance, they have the petting zoo area where you can touch and feel the fishes and also sharks. This is a great way to exfoliate your skin. They do have hand washing stations, so make sure you wash your hands directly after petting any of the animals. First stop of the day, pineapple peats. Let's see what they have. In Pineapple's Pizza, the first stop, I got the Caesar salad with chicken strips. You got the chicken strips with the fries, and they also have shrimp and fish. So I wanted to talk about all day dining. It's literally that, all you could eat. There's a bunch of restaurants listed on the back of the map. We're gonna try to hit all of them up today. There's only one rule. You have to wait one hour from the time of your receipt to the next time that you get the meal. So as long as you wait one hour, you're good to go. I don't know why you would we're not wait good. one hour. Yeah, we'll be all right, but we're gonna try to hit up every restaurant just for you guys. Not for us, <laughs> for you guys. Chicken tenders are good. But the brownie is delicious. <laughs> mm. We're gonna enter to our first show of the day, Sea Lion Life. We just finished the Sea Lion Live, which is a great show. It was real funny. I think the host like really makes the show because he makes you laugh. And then they have all those things that the sea lions do that it's crazy how they teach them so much stuff like that. Now it's time to check out Mama Stella's Pizza Kitchen. They got a lot of Italian food in here. So let's go check it out. Mamma Mia. They have pizza, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, they have pasta alfredo, pesto pasta, they have meatballs, they have the kids menu as well, and it's delicious. I have the cuties. Lunch time. Magnifico. It's my first time trying pesto pasta with shrimp here, so we'll see. It's good. So 
the first roller coaster we're coming upon is the Manta and a crazy scale from 1 to 10. It's probably like a 6. It doesn't have any loop to loops but it does have some crazy turns. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 out of the crazy level. If you're looking to pet the Bat Rays, it's right next to the Manta entrance. You can see them right down here. We are now at Dolphin Point. Let's go take a closer look at these dolphins right on the other side of the glass. We're about to see the famous show, the one and only Shamu. But first, we did a quick stop in the aquarium, which is downstairs, and you can see the orcas playing with some fishes. If you don't want to get wet in this show, make sure that you sit in the upper level of the stadium because in the lower level is the wet zone area and for sure you're going to get wet. Shipwreck Reef Cafe and it's only been an hour since we last ate but let's go inside and see what they got here. So in this cafe you can find salmon, chicken leg, cheeseburgers and reefs. I got some rotisserie chicken with some french fries. We've been eating a lot. I went to the light side this time and I got my salmon with vegetables. And the chicken is delicious. So I'm right in front of Shipwreck Rapids right now and it's down for maintenance. And this ride, if you haven't been on it before, you go on a raft and you go down the river and you get completely soaked. So every time I get on it, I say, ah, I'm not gonna get that wet. So be prepared to be completely soaked and drenched when you get off this ride. If you do get completely wet, you could come to the shipwreck dryers, but be prepared to pay $6. You just jump in that little thing behind me and heaters start drying you off with the quickness and that's six bucks. We are now at the Bayside Skyride and it's an aerial tram and it actually takes you across the San Diego Mission Bay and it's a beautiful view and you could even see Mission Beach from up there. Be advised they are charging now. It costs $6, believe it or not, if you want to ride the Sky Tram. If you or one of your little ones love sharks, don't skip out the shark encounter here at SeaWorld. As soon as you enter here, look at these ginormous sharks. Ooh, starting to get spooky. Ooh. the Atlantis ride. It's not a roller coaster, it's more of a water ride. So you go straight down and once you come down that hill, it splashes and it gets you soaked. You guys we're here in front of the electric eel and this is the craziest ride they have here on the crazy scale from 1 to 10 this one rates a 10 this one has turns tipsy turvy swervy it goes around it does flips this one's crazy you guys
Muffin Days, which is one of my favorites. I'm here in front of Calypso Bay Smokehouse, and this is my favorite from the all day dining. And if you want to know why, it's because they got ribs, they got chicken, and they got briskets. You guys, little Leo has been trying to show you his fresh gear all day. He has the shark and he got the shark shorts too. You guys, they have a great play area for toddlers right in the center. It's Sesame Street theme and it's great for kids. They even have a tiny water park here. Thank you. We came to Fried Cones. It's part of the All Day Dine. And look at this thing. <laughs> this is the first time we came to this place, actually. So we were trying to test it out. And I don't even know how to start eating this thing. There we go. It's actually good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I'm just going to use my hands because I asked for the chicken tenders. Rice. Good? Yeah. We hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it that thumbs up like. If you want to check out San Diego Zoo, click on this button right here. If you want to subscribe, right here. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye.